What's up guys? So today I'm doing a little bit different of a video. Um, I'm actually moving to my fiance's house really soon here. So I need to get rid of jerseys. So it's like, hmm, I got rid of all these old jerseys I've collected from, I was about 14 up until now. So um, if anybody really wants any of them, let me know. I will just give them for free, just pay for shipping. So however far you are, I don't know how much it'll cost for shipping, but I'll give them away. Some are thrashed. Um, so let me show you guys what I have. It's basically a collection of all football and basketball jerseys I've collected yeah since I was 14 up until now so first one Champ Bailey so I worked at a Dave and Buster's and we had to wear jerseys on Sundays during football season so I collected about jersey every year I was there for eight years so here's a Champ Bailey it's a kid's jersey but not the biggest dude in the world so um I can I was able to rock it when I was younger so there's Champ Bailey And um, when I was in elementary school, I was a huge, makes it sound old, <laughs> a huge Marshall Falk fan. So here, I liked him on the Colts and on the Rams. So here's old, even like the, the back is gold. So it was Adidas. That's when like everybody made jerseys back then. Starter made jerseys, so that one. Speaking of which, I think I was like 13, 14. A Colts. I love this one because it's black. They never wore them, but they made a black edition back in the late 90s. Marshall Falk is by starter when they made jerseys, so it's pretty old. This one's not that long ago. Tavon Austin. This is my first um, China jersey. I think it is from China. Um, I didn't buy it from China, but I'm pretty sure it is. It looks real, like really real, but when I washed it, the Nike sign fell off. It looks real, it feels real, but the Nike signs are falling apart. Besides that, it's real. Now this is the one I ordered for my fiance. Um, took forever to get here. And um, it's a large, and look at this compared to me. It is gigantor. You can fit two people and this thing, it is so big. We made a joke that we have this as our buddy jersey because it's buddy healed. And we both fit into it and hug it out. We argued because you can fit two full grown adults in here. Pretty ridiculous. So try and get rid of this. Pay for shipping and handling or shipping. Oh my God, handling. It's like fully stitched. It's a really nice jersey. This one, I don't think anybody would want. This is what happens when you wash your jerseys. It's all jacked up. So like I said, don't ever wash them. Never, never wash these bad boys. Still looks good, but I'm trying to downgrade and it's thrashed. So I let my friend borrow a jersey one time and he wa his mother-in-law washed it on accident. So he gave me this because it got jacked up. Just one time. So I'm a huge Kings fan. He bought this at... Arco, where the Kings used to play at, as an I'm sorry gift. So like, I, like, I like to collect jerseys, so I, I mean, I got this Vince Carter one. Also, this is the first one I got in China that was basketball. I can tell this the sleeves isn't exactly right. Um, this is stitched, but I washed this a few times and it is jacked up, really jacked up. But the rest of it is pretty nice. So I just like how the Raptors jerseys look, Barney Arnie. Total bust, but it's a really sharp looking jersey. I really like it, but it's got a downsize. I got this the Nike outlets when I was really young in the Sacramento area. It's a large USC jersey. It's <clears throat> it's all just printed on. One big print, no stitching at all. So yeah, it's a good looking jersey. The large. Um, I like Jay Williams coming out, uh, Duke, then he got hurt and they went that. It's actually a Harvard classic jersey. So there's that. Chris Johnson this is their anniversary jersey, 10 year anniversary. Good looking jersey. Everything stitched, fully stitched. 
bought this a long time ago. LeBron James, first couple of years. Again, washed it. Real or not real, gets faded bad if you don't wash it by hand. So it's, it's a real jersey, but not real, but I mean, the ones they actually make. It got jacked up. Another one, Matt Ryan. Uh, size 44, I believe. All stitched again. They just change their logos, but they're on jerseys, so this one's like, you know, crap now. Another one I got at the um, outlets, Nike outlets. Really cool jersey, but it's big. 2XL. It's pretty old, but it still looks pretty cool. This one I was thrashed over the years. Bobby Jackson, Sacramento Kings. It's like transparent now. You can see it right there. It's it's trash. It is trash, but this is again just a collection of my jerseys over the years. I'm a big Niners fan, believe it or not. Michael Crabtree, again all stitched. Back in Reebok did the jerseys. Yeah. This guy won the dunk contest years ago. I think I got it Ross or something. Desmond Mason, I chopped off the sides. Absolutely thrashed. Can't wash it in the washer. My last one I'm getting rid of. Old, old Giants jersey, Rodney Hampton. It's a real jersey. I mean, you can fit it under the pads. You can, so it's like an actual jersey jersey. It was an actual team jersey, but it's definitely like a real authentic, super heavy stitch jersey. Got eaten up though. But yeah, so that's my collection. Again, anybody really wants one, it's gonna do for free, just paper shipping. So yeah, that's my collection. Really just wanted to show you guys my non-DHK jersey collection. Thought it'd be cool. So yeah. Uh thanks. See you guys later.